She's bringing the trailer park lifestyle to the world. Come inside, don't be shy, cause Jolene can't wait to meet ya. She's the queen of the park, she's got gossip news and lots of food to feed ya. Jolene Sugar Baker, Jolene Sugar Baker is one budget minded girl. Lots of cheap fashion is the passion at the park, the passion at the park, the passion at the park. Dropping in on neighbors is all part of Jolene's world. Slap on all your blue eye shadow. Watch out for that big tornado. Get all filled with pride in the double wide. Trailer Park fans, it's Jolene Sugarbaker, the Trailer Park Queen, and welcome to the Trailer Park Test Kitchen, and welcome to another episode of my cooking show, Cooking with Jolene, the Trailer Park Cooking Show. You know, money is tight these days, and we're all working off a budget, and it's getting cold here in the Trailer Park with winter and everything, and snow in the forecast, and you know, I can hardly afford to pay my electricity bill. So I thought, why not share with you all some of my money-saving casseroles that are really great and you can warm up to them this winter nights. So today, I'm going to show you how to make my French fry beef bake. Yes, that's right. I show you how to take crinkle-cut French fries, some onions and beef and savory spices, and turn it into a hearty entree for you or your family. It's up next on Cooking with Jolene. You'll need the following ingredients to make my french fry beef bake. One bag of crinkle cut french fries. About a pound of ground beef. One onion. One bag of shredded cheese. One tomato. Two cups of frozen peas. One can of cream of chicken soup. Three-fourth cup water. Two tablespoons of ketchup. One tablespoon of parsley flakes. About two teaspoons of Montreal steak seasoning. Salt and pepper to taste. One teaspoon Worcestershire sauce. One four teaspoon ground mustard. Half teaspoon marjoram leaves. Here's how you put it together. First, you're going to chop up your onion, but I'm not going to show you that on film because the last time I did that, I found this message board on the internet that it had 80 posts on there of people critiquing my knife skills, and they weren't very nice. <laughs> but, you know, I know I may not be able to do fancy knife things, but I sure know how to cook, and that's what my hope is. So, I'm not going to show you how to cut this. I think you can figure that out your own. Now, we're going to sizzle up the ground beef, and I really hope this isn't a clone cow, because that, I don't know, I can hardly make a Xerox copy, and they are making, like, copies of living creatures, and that's scaring me, and I don't think I can eat that, so I hope there's no clone cows in here, or any kind of mad cow disease, or anything like that. So we're going to cook it real good, and make sure it reaches at least 165 degrees. We're going to take our ground beef now and put it in a hot skillet and cook that down. And, you know, we can add some spices to this to make this even more tastier, like some Montreal steak seasoning, about a teaspoon or a half, 
or more. Now we're going to add the onions so they cook down too. You can blot out any of the extra oil with a clean paper towel. Meanwhile, in another bowl, add the can of cream of chicken soup. Three-fourth cup of water. Two tablespoons of ketchup. There we go, one for good measure. One teaspoon Worcestershire sauce. Some salt and pepper. Half teaspoon marjoram leaves. One teaspoon dried mustard. One tablespoon of dried parsley flakes. Now we're going to mix it all around. Now we're going to take a cake pan and the crinkle cut french fries and spread them out on the bottom. Take the crinkle cut french fries and put them in the base of the 9 by 13 baking pan. Now, you're going to add about two cups of peas. Now add your meat mixture. And spread that out evenly. Now pour over your sauce mixture. Now smooth it on out. I like to garnish mine with fresh tomato slices. and some shredded cheese. Now we're going to put it in a preheated 350 degree oven for about 45 minutes or until it's heated thoroughly throughout. Set your timer. I have some of my french fry beef bake hot out of the oven and you know this is the perfect thing to fix these cold and wintry nights in the trailer park. And today we used onions and cheese and ketchup and ground mustard and marjoram leaves. I know that's a weird spice but it's kind of like oregano. And you know it makes a great casserole especially when you use the crinkle cut french fries. It's great for potlucks, office parties wedding receptions, or a quick meal in a jiffy. I've got to try it. Mmm, that is good. you got to try this tonight. Tune in next time for more Cooking with Jolene and visit my website at jolenesugarbaker.com. I love you. Bye-bye. Slap on all your blue eye shadow. Watch out for that big tornado. Get all filled with pride in the double wide.